Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen. And together, we can support our leader, Mazin Amdekano, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and pull the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He say, The Fulani Presidency Kabar and the Fulani governors and their elites have vowed that they will never allow any Christian to rule the zoo called Nigeria. And they said that if that happens, then there will be a religious war. The Fulani are wasting their time because there may be no Nigeria come 2023 and Biafra would have been restored. Abubakar Malami, the Fulani terrorist bandit minister of justice, who used the Fulani controlled EFCC, ICPC, to force Biafran governors of Ebony and Cross River states, including their House of Representative members and those of Imo State House of Assembly, to decamp and join the evil Fulani political party, have now abandoned them as they have all been sacked by the Federal High Court Abuja and the Fulani Nigerian government is not interested in helping their Biafran slaves because they are angry that Biafra has not been overrun by the Fulani Nigerian government and that the Biafran politicians are not doing anything to help the Fulani speed the overrunning of Biafra land because time is running out for them. So that is why. And they also are not happy because they are also in trouble. So that is why they have abandoned all their Biafran slave politicians that have been sacked by the Federal High Court, controlled by the Fulani Nigerian government. You know, according to the Fulani Nigerian government and their cabal, they said, why there will be religious civil war in Nigeria if the current vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, becomes president? According to the Fulani Janjaweed, an Obasan Oshibanjo presidency would plunge Nigeria into the depth of a smoldering religious volcano that will hasten its self immolation. And that is what we are praying as Biafran. Let Nigeria disintegrate so that Biafra can go peacefully. One of the Fulani Janjawi, Perogi, said. His claim is based on an intimate familiarity with Oshibajo's trajectory of religious bigotry, overpowering anti-Muslim prejudice, and irrevocable devotion to the materialization of a Pentecostal capture of Nigerian states. You know, the memo written that asks churches to actively support its members vying for political offices were inspired by Oshibajo and is consistent with his history of exclusivist religious politics. You know, the same thing happened in the mocks, in the Fulani mocks. They tell them not to vote for Christians. So I don't know why the Fulani Janjaweed are scared of Christian leader. They are scared. Because they do the same. They tell their people not to vote for Christians. But, you know, one good thing is that we Biafrans, we are not concerned. 
the Nigerian politicians can continue with their Nigeria as long as we have our Biafra. We don't care. Oshibanjo, according to the Fulani Janjaweed, delivered a lecture titled Christianity Politics Now and Beyond that instigated Christians to deploy Christian religious blackmail to force Bola Ahmed Tunubu to endorse a Christian governor for Lagos in 2015. They are trying to instigate the Yoruba Muslim, but they will fail. Ushibanjo's trajectory for Christian governor in Lagos wasn't inspired by any desire for religious pluralism, according to the Fulani Janjaweed. A Muslim has never been elected governor of Ondo and Ekiti State. In Ogun State, his natal state, Ibikule Amosu is the only Muslim governor the state has ever elected since 1979. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed did not mention that the Fulani Caliphate vowed never to allow a Northern Christian rule Nigeria or their states. And the only Christian to have ruled Kaduna State, Patrick Yokowa, was eliminated by the Fulani elite despite Kaduna having a majority Christian population. The Fulani elites are bitter with Good Luck Jonathan for helping Yokowa to become Kaduna State Governor when the then Governor Sambo was a Muslim, is a Muslim was selected by Good Luck Jonathan to be his Vice President. Christian majority Northern states like Bauchi Gombe. You know, Adamawa, Nasarawa, Sokoto, Borno, and Kogi states have never had Christian governors. And this Fulani Janjaweed ranting did not see anything wrong about that. They are wasting their time. Nigeria is gone and is gone for good. Biafrans don't have anything to do with the Fulani Janjaweed. The Fulani elite and Janjaweed claims Ushibajo is a suave, charming, but toxic, Islamophobic bigot who clothes his bigotry with oratory and that he is only associating with Muslims because of his political agenda. He visits mocks with his shoes on in a betrayal of the ice cold disdain for the religion and awkwardly alter salams only as a stool to conquer strategy. The Fulani Janjaweed claims that Oshiba just sees Muslims not as fellow citizens who practice a different faith but as a lost soul in need of salvation. If they can be salvaged, they should be inferiorized, victimized and excluded. This same Fulani Janjaweed are not seeing anything wrong with the Fulani Nigerian government's genocide in Biafra land and their hatred for Biafrans. The shameless Fulani Janjaweed claims that Yoruba Muslim says there is a standing rule in Oshibajo law firm, Simon's Cooper Partners, that employment of Muslims there must be regulated, which has ensured that 99% of people who worked there are Christians. But the same Fulani Janjaweed sees nothing wrong with Buhari's government nepotism. The Fulani Janjaweed wants to use, you know, the Yoruba Muslim to help them fight jihad, yet they hate the Yoruba Muslims. They don't allow Yoruba Muslims to lead them in their mocks. Go to Abuja, you will see it. A Yoruba will never lead the central mocks. That is why the Yorubas have their own mocks at Metama. They don't, they don't allow Yorubas to lead. And now they want to use them. The Fulani are angry with Biafra because there are no Muslims 
and the Biafrans have refused the establishment of Fulani Islamic Caliphates. The Fulani Janja will lament that Oshiba just bigotry and Pentecostal Christian particularism aren't anything they have ever seen in Nigeria before, but they did not condemn Fulani terrorist bandits that Nigeria has never witnessed in our entirety until the jihadists took over power in 2015 with the help of the same Yoruba and Oshibajo they are now castigating. Imagine the Fulani Janjaweed. The Fulani Janjaweed lamented that Nigerian Tribune columnist Festus Adebayo revealed that while Buhari was sick and away in London, Oshibajo attended a church prayer session in his home state, Ogun State, where the pastor prayed for Buhari to die so that Oshibajo would take over as president with VP shouting, thunderous amen. Buhari is long dead and buried in 2017 in faraway Saudi Arabia and the criminal Fulani Janjaweed are hiding the truth and using imposter to rule Nigeria. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed tried the same when Yaradua died in office, but the Fulani cabals at that time did not succeed to cover up for too long. The failure to cover Yaradua's dead and rule Nigeria by proxy or impostor was because they were unable to fulanize the security agencies, Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, the NLC, and every single agency in Nigeria as they have done before the real Buhari died in London in 2017. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.